tonight we will pray and continue from Revelation 5 verse 8, 12 and 13 and we will join in the song of heaven giving power and riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory and blessing to the Lamb and to Him who sits on the throne. Father, and we pray that you would teach us to sing the songs of heaven on the earth, that you would grant us access to learn the songs of heaven tonight and to ascribe to you all the glory due your name, in Jesus' name.
the Lord, the famous one, famous one, you are great, is your name in all the earth. Oh, the heavens declare that you are glorious, so glorious, so great is your fame. The empty grave, the evidence is endless. All my sin rolled away because of you, oh Jesus. See the cross, the empty grave, the evidence is endless. All my sin rolled away because of you, oh Jesus. of your goodness all over my life all over my life I see your promises in fulfillment all over my life all over my life I see I see the evidence of your goodness all over my and fulfillment all over my life all over my life all throughout my history your faithfulness is walled beside me the winter storms made way for spring every season from where I'm standing I see the evidence of your goodness all over my life all over my life I see your promises and fulfillment all over my life all over my life Help me remember when I'm weak. Fear may come, but fear will leave. You lead my heart to victory. You are my strength, and you will always be. Yeah. I see the evidence of you. All over my life, all over my life, I see your promises and fulfillment. All over my life, all over my life, I see the evidence of your goodness. All over my See the 
cross, the empty grave, the evidence is endless. All my sin rolled away because of you, oh Jesus. See the cross, the empty grave, the evidence is endless. All the grand rolled away because of you, oh Jesus. of your goodness all over my life all over my life I see your promises and fulfillment all over my life all over my is devoted like a ring of solid gold like a vow that is tested like a covenant of old your love is enduring through the winter rain and beyond the horizon with mercy for today faithful you have been Faithful you will be, you pledge yourself to me, and it's why I sing your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips, oh, your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips. You father the orphan, your kindness makes us whole. You shoulder our weakness, and our strength becomes our own. You're making me like you, clothing me in white, bringing beauty from ashes. For you love your bride, free from all her guilt rid of all her shame and known by her true name and it's why i sing your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will ever be on my lips your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will ever be on my lips you will be praised you will be praised with angels and saints we sing worthy are you lord you will be praised you will 
be praised with angels and saints we sing worthy are you Lord you will be praised you will be praised with angels and saints we sing worthy are you Lord you will be praised you will be praised with angels and saints why I sing your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips, oh, your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips, always, always, in the morning. In the morning, in the evening, on my lips, oh, in the morning, in the evening, on my lips, on my lips, your praise will be.
we give honor to you alone. And we worship you tonight from Revelation 5, verse 12, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And tonight, Lord, we join with the angels, with the four living creatures, with the elders, and the angels ten thousand times, ten thousands, and thousands of thousands, and we join our voice in saying, Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb who was slain. We glorify you, Jesus, as the one who laid down your life. We sing, Worthy, 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 forever is the Lamb that was slain. belongs mercy for you render to each one according to his work 
tonight we worship you as the one to whom belongs all power. There may be many people and evil spirits in this world that display power, but we declare tonight that you, to you belong all power. You are the all-powerful one. The power that streams forth from you cause every knee to bow and every tongue to confess that Jesus is your Lord. We worship you for your mighty power that subdue all the earth. to see your power and your glory. Lord, as we stand before you now on the sea of glass, we just see your power going out into all the universe. You uphold everything 
with your great power. You balance everything in time and in eternity. You balance even time and eternity by the might of your great power. We thank you that you are so powerful that nothing can ever go out of your control. We worship you as the powerful one, the almighty God. it all in balance he keeps it all running yeah the earth goes around the sun everything is in its place his word keeps it all running Just a word, just a word, he said, let there be light, and light was formed, just a word, so powerful, just a word is needed. says great is the Lord and mighty in power his understanding is infinite we worship you tonight as the one who does not only have power but who is mighty in the display of power Lord your understanding of how to execute your power to the benefit of all is beyond our understanding the way, the intricate way in which you keep together all things, all times, all seasons, all of eternity, and even that which is outside of eternity. That means that you are mighty in power. And you are so mighty that you allow your heart to be moved by our intercession, that you allow your heart to be moved by our love and devotion. And you rearrange all of eternity and all of time because you are mighty in power. We worship you, our powerful God. Just look how he keeps it all going. He holds us with his word. Oh, your perfection. Keep it together. Everything you do is wonderful. Everything you make is glorious. Isaiah 40 
verse 29, He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Lord, the way you execute your kingdom is completely mind-boggling. Lord, usually it's wise to give power to the strong, but in your kingdom you give power to the weak. And to those who have no might, you increase strength. The power of your kingdom is not the power of this world. It is far beyond and out of reach of understanding that a God as great as you can give power to a weak person, to someone who have no might, you increase their strength. Oh, my soul rests in this joy that my God gives power to the weak and strengthens those who have little might and little strength. That just wants the best for his sons and daughters. Oh, you go before us, almighty warrior. You strengthen the weakness. You strengthen the feeble hands. You strengthen us in our weakness. And we become strong. what you do you make us strong oh look what you've done you've made us strong you make us strong look what you've done you have made us your power is done it's carried us through carried us through what your power is done it has carried us through carried us through it's not our own strength he's not on our own might he's not in our your great power we rest in your strength Nahum 1 verse 3 says the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked the Lord has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet O oh Lord we worship you that you do not break out against us in anger because you are great in power in one moment you can destroy all of the universe by the breath of your nostrils all the earth can just melt away like wax you have your way in the whirlwind and in the storm and in the clouds thank you for your grace that you visit us when you judge only with whirlwinds and storms and through the clouds that you do not completely destroy us, Lord, for we are deserving of complete destruction in the way we treat you as our God. Thank you that you are slow to anger and both great in power.
Oh, we're so thankful that you are who you are. We're so thankful. Attributes work together for my good. All who you are, all who you are, you are for me, not against me. All who you are, all who you are, you are for me, not against. Loving kindness is really better than life. In Mark 14, 62, Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Jesus, we worship you tonight as the Lamb seated together with him on the throne at the right hand of the power. The power that sent you forth, the power that redeemed man from sin, the power that overcame death on the cross, the power of God, forever we will bow in heaven with the 24 living creatures and with the living creatures. We bow down and we say glory to you for you are a powerful God. under the earth, all the riches of the seas, everything that can be taken from the ground, these are the riches of God and it belongs to Him because from Him all riches come. Nothing belongs to us, Lord. We cannot cause any fruits to grow. We cannot cause any crops to grow or cattle to come forth. We cannot produce iron and gold and precious stones all the riches of the earth belongs to god we worship you as the one to whom all riches belong
And all this your hands have made And all this your word have made Oh, oh all this your hands have made And when we wake up, and sometimes thoughts of riches, Lord, consume our minds and our hearts. And we spend a lot of time contemplating the riches of this world. Tonight I pray for the spirit of wisdom and revelation to unveil to us what is true riches. And that we would become rich towards God. Reveal to us what are the true riches of heaven.
Yes, Lord. According to Luke 12, 19, it says that I will say to my soul, you have many good laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this night your soul will be required of you. Then whose will those things be? So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. Oh, Father, we come before you tonight and say, we as the church are poor and needy because we gather a lot of things, but not souls. I pray for a fresh outpouring of your Holy Spirit to have a passion for souls because souls is what you require. Souls will lay up for us treasures in heaven. Souls, when we tell them and they choose you, will bring many crowns to heaven, the crown of salvation, the crown of those who bring many to righteousness. Oh, let us desire the true riches of souls be brought to your feet. open the eyes of many to desire things of heaven, heavenly things, to be seated with you, to walk with you, to stand with you, to see you. These are the true riches. Oh, let our desires tonight be rearranged. Rearrange our understanding of true riches and that we would become a glorious praise unto you. It's your sons and daughters 
It's on your heart, on your heart To seek the kingdom of God Seek the kingdom of God And your righteousness And your righteousness We ask even now That they would say yes, your sons, your daughters, they would say yes even now. Yes, Lord, according to Ephesians 1 verse 7, it says, In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins, and all of this according to the riches of His grace. Oh, that we would dip our hearts in the stream of grace. That we would become rich towards you for the mercy and the grace you bestow upon us. That we would bestow likewise upon others so that they would see and know the riches of your glory. Lord, I think of Ephesians 3.16 that says that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through the Holy Spirit in the inner man. These things are true riches. Your glory, your grace, your mercy. Oh, that we would sing praises for your glory, your grace, and your mercy. Your glory, your glory is unending your mercies never end they are new every morning your mercies are new every morning you fill our lives with riches and abundance every day we stand in the grace of your great riches Have your glory, many coming to you, 
many come into you have your glory your sons and daughters come in oh, 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 oh. many many come in many many come in to you oh many 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 come in to you bowing down bowing down saying yes bowing down saying yes you're glorified you're glorified you're glorified you're glorified when we bow our knee when we bow our knee you're glorified you're glorified when we say yes when we say yes you're glorified you're glorified Lord, we continue to sing the song of heaven. All power and riches and wisdom belong to you. Lord, the beginning of wisdom, the beginning of the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. According to Proverbs 9 verse 10, we say tonight, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Teach us, Holy Spirit, the fear of the Lord, that we may understand how to give and ascribe all wisdom to our God. Teach us the fear of the Lord. Teach us the fear of the Lord, that we may fear you. Teach us the fear of the Lord, that we may, we may fear you and you alone. the Lord falling falling yeah. hearts on hearts tonight fear of the Lord falling 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 on hearts tonight we cry out for wisdom that comes from heaven we cry out we cry out Yes, Lord, we cry out for wisdom. According to Ecclesiastes 9 verse 18, it says, Wisdom is better than the weapons of war. Lord, how we fight our battles with the strength and the power of this world. When we look at you, you sent Jesus as a lamb that was slain. And so you overcame all the power and the authority and the wickedness of the devil. Wisdom is far better than weapons of war. Tonight we ascribe to you all wisdom. It is from you, it is through you, it is by you. All wisdom we can ever receive is from you. Oh, let us dip our hearts in the stream of wisdom. wisdom to come before the Lord this is wisdom to ask you this is wisdom to praise the Lord this is wisdom to come before you
Make us wise Like the ten virgins Not the foolish ones Make us wise To know the times of the Lord And the seasons Make us wise Make us wise and give us insight into the hidden things of God so we may see the wisdom of God and we will not be drawn by the foolishness of this world and right now I just I just sense there's a word of wisdom that the Lord is saying that you are making many plans to to have breakthrough and you're seeking a lot of answers from the internet and you're seeking answers from counselors and people like this but the Lord says call upon the spirit of wisdom and understanding and you will partake of the wisdom of heaven and he will give you wisdom and understanding of things that you need right now that give you the breakthrough labor in prayer labor in devotion get up and seek his face for he is the source of all wisdom the wisdom you need right now is not in the hands of people is not in the hands of strategists where we are now we have never been before do not seek your wisdom from this world but seek it from the lord i just perceive the lord is saying pursue me even in fasting and prayer and pray in the spirit for the spirit of wisdom is at your right hand seek wisdom with all your might and strength because he is the source of wisdom lord we worship you as the source of all wisdom in this season right now the answer to our most difficult and complex situations we worship you as the one the fountain of wisdom and understanding that comes from heaven and the Lord says station yourself station yourself put yourself on the rampart read my word and I will speak to you pray in the spirit and I will speak to you go to bed and ask for me to speak to you in the night visions and I will give you the blueprint you need for right now do not look for a quick fix but set your heart wholeheartedly towards me not just to use me to get an answer but set your heart towards me as the lover of your soul and I will pour my love on you and I just see that hidden in this large scroll that I see before me there are several small scrolls to everyone that will listen 
to this worship even after the session is completed it will remain and those who say Lord I receive the wisdom of God who is the source of wisdom I worship you as the originator of this plan and when the plan comes I will give the glory back to you I will say this is not my plan and my blueprint and my business proposal and my breakthrough understanding but it belongs to him I will give honor to the one who is the source of wisdom the Lord says if you set your heart towards me like that I will release it to you but first you must purify your heart and be sure that it is set on me for myself so right now Lord we station ourselves towards you we set our mind on things above we set our hearts on the wisdom the true wisdom that flows from heaven fill us with all wisdom and understanding wisdom to know what to do but you give us strength to execute the wisdom you give us Lord when you speak to us always the plans and purposes overwhelms our hearts when we move from a place of hopelessness to overwhelmedness because of your great great mercy and therefore we say tonight that all strength and honor is due your name because these things does not come from any man but from you and we are reminded to love you with all our heart and all our mind and all our soul and all our strength and right now we say all strength and honor when these things happen in our lives when the breakthroughs come the honor belongs to you belongs to you 
and all belongs to you. You get the glory, you get the glory, it all belongs to you. Get the honor, you get the honor, it all belongs to you. You're the one that has made us everything, everything. It's your wisdom you give us, yeah. Oh, we can't take any, any honor, any glory. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. This is how you reveal yourself. You say to Moses in Exodus 33, 22, So it shall be while my glory passes by, that I will put you in the cleft of the rock, and I will cover you with my hand while I pass by. O oh Lord, our hearts are overwhelmed, because you, the great and glorious one, Grant us grace to see glory. We are greatly humbled, Lord, that you think of us and that you have all these thoughts about us from even before the beginning of all creation and time. You had so many thoughts towards us, Lord, and we let ourselves be overwhelmed but, but with circumstances of a day and of a week and of a month and a year. But tonight we say, as your glory passes us by now and you hide us in the cleft of the rock in the wounds of the lamb that's where you hide us from this world lord we can see we can see we can see your glory we see suddenly that you are worthy to be praised and now we join in the song of the lamb and we join in the song that they sing to him who's seated on the throne. We say glory and honor belongs to you. For from you are all things, 
unto you are all things you deserve the glory we sing you are worthy of it all you are worthy of it all for from you are all things and unto you are all things you deserve the glory all the angels they give you glory all the elders they bow down give you glory 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 say according to Psalm 24 verse 7, lift up your gates, O your gates, and be lifted up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Lord, and we speak to the heads of the gates of our nation and of the church and say, be lifted up. And we speak to those in the church and we say, you everlasting doors, those who let the kingdom of God into this world through Christ in you, be lifted up. Lift up, make way, and we speak to everything in our own lives, Lord, that locks you out. We speak to our eye gates to open up, to our ear gates to open up, Lord, to our smell and our taste to open up, and to our mouths to open up to our hearts to open up and to lift up the King of glory, to allow you to come in so we will see and we will have full understanding of who you are so that more glory, more honor, more wisdom, more thanks, more beauty can be ascribed to you. Give us revelation of who you are so we can sing the song of heaven. and We can join in the heavenly choirs. Lift up lift up lift up every door and gate open up open up the gates open up the gates lift up your hands your ageless doors open up Give unto the Lord glory and strength. 
Psalm 29 verse 2, Give unto the Lord the glory due His name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And here we stand in your glory, singing of your glory, covered by your glory, surrounded by your glory, saturated by your glory. We fall down on the sea of glass with all the 24 elders, we fall down on the sea of glass and with the living creatures and the thousands upon thousands of angels we say give glory unto the Lord, do His name, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. that you will receive all that is due your name and you will fall short nothing that must come forth from our own lives that we would put aside time to worship you according to your riches in glory for then you open the heaven of heavens and rain down upon us heavenly manna of which we can eat and live this life we glorify you forever and ever in jesus name amen <laughs> 